Starting off our show, our first camp location is just south of the Marigold Pavilion located in the forest region. And here at this camp location, not only do you have this beautiful billboard in your background, you also have this well put together dock that I built myself specifically for you for whenever you move in here. Look at this magnificent dock with your water resource. Oh my god, that's so amazing. You kind of can't build at some areas for some odd reason, but once you place your camp down, you'll be good to go. Let me show you where you can build that up here because this is close to the pavilion, so you can't build exactly on the billboard. I do apologize. But hey, never mind. I proved myself wrong. Oh, see, there's where it cuts off. There's where it starts to cut off. Sad day, sad day, but right here you can't, so if you want to, like, you know, try your cards at this billboard, go for it. But I do recommend you building down here, because look at this again, oh my god, that is such a beautiful pond. One of the cool things about this pond is if you're Batman like me, and you want secret areas to your base, let me just show you right over here what you get if you want to build on this side of the pond. Over here, we have ourselves our very own bat cave. This place is magnificent. This is a pretty location that has just about everything for you. Now let's move on to our next location. The next camp location on our list brings us just west of these lovely deer in the Meyer region. And here for you in this location, I have for you a pre-made camp unlike any other in all of Fault 76. Let me just show you the outside real quick. As you can see, we have a ton of potatoes. Look at all those lovely potatoes for all the eating that we can get. Nom, 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 nom. Then we also have a ton of corn if you need some corn. This is perfect for all those daily challenges that we have and then we also have a visitor say hello to the settler hello settler she's pretty nice we won't kill her this time now on into the house look at this now it doesn't look like much i know i know but this is a lovely three-story house and you won't see much of these in appalachia so let me just take you on up to the stairs okay here we go this is again the living room so we're gonna be cooking your stuff see that kitchen over there this is a chill area then on upstairs this is gonna be your bedroom you see this now you know there's not much room up here you know you might fall off you might not, who knows, throw a bedroll right there. Now we'll continue to go up. The reason I say don't put your bed up here is because, well, we have a little tea party going on and uh, you don't want to interrupt anything like that. But this is the house part of it. Now let me show you what else you can do with this camp location because I was just joshing you. Though that place does look amazing. That's not the main attraction of this camp whatsoever. Looky here. Yes, we have ourselves a hidden bunker. This thing is absolutely amazing and beautiful and all sorts of things. Look at this. We do have two red roaches in here, but they're easy peasy to kill, so just uh, grab your gun and shoot them. But look at this. Holy cow. We have a bedroll already waiting for us. We have a couch, a radio that works. Oh, I'm getting luckier by the day. Now, if you just move over here, we have another kitchen that looks way better than the house up there. And you also have a little storage area if you want to just come and storage some of your stuff. You know, maybe fix up the water cooler or something. But this camp location is absolutely amazing. The next camp location on our list is located just east of the Black Bear Lodge, located in the Toxic Valley. Now, this location, I'm going to be honest, is not the best looking location whatsoever as you can see we have a ton of trees just falling and laying down everywhere but there is one unique thing about it this area has tons of resources okay so over here we have toxic water so if you need to get all the rats and stuff for your bloody build here you go then over here we have a junk resource spot now that's absolutely amazing because you can farm a ton of types of junk through that and then also right up the hill just right up here which you can put into both of your camps we have a lead farm. So this location is fantastic. If you're needing all those resources and you're one of those people that are just like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm struggling so much with my resources. right? Or if you just want to sell resources, this is a fantastic location. And again, it's right here, right next to Crater. So you're going to be getting a ton of traction. The next camp location on our list is just southwest of the Tyler County Dirt Track located in the Forest Region. And here for you, I have a small little farm again. But at this location, you got to be careful where you place your little camp because if you get too close to that little dirt track over there uh, it turns red sadly but uh, if you build over here you can still go farm over there and build inside that little area over there you just can't you know place your camp over here sadly as you can see again it turns red but over here we have some corn that you can harvest on the daily if you need to we have wood over here which you can harvest on the daily or however long it takes for it to respawn you can come and harvest all the time you want we have another lovely settler whoa whoa whoa, whoa. don't chop my little wood okay okay that's for me don't attack me either then over here we also have 
have some water. So if you need any dirty water for your cooking, here you go. This is a pretty nice location. And again, the reason I put this one on the map is because it's really close to a workshop and you can do a ton of things with workshops and it's really close to Vault 76, so it's perfect for beginners. The next camp location on our list is just east of the North Cutthroat Camp located in the Savage Divide. And here at this location, we have ourselves a magnificent secluded pond. Though there's a little raft over there with the dead body on it, but since she's dead, it's completely secluded to you. Though you might want to get rid of that dead body because that's kind of weird. But look at this pond. This pond is absolutely beautiful. And if you want to build where there are some, yo, what are you doing over here? Okay, well, sir, this is supposed to be a secluded pond. Excuse you. I swear that's not what happened to the person over there. I swear it. But again, if you want some views with your house, look over here. Oh my God. Appalachia is just absolutely gorgeous. I need to visit in real life. But over here, again, back to our pond, I'll show you what the little dead body's floating on. It's a little raft that gives us a ton of rats. <laughs> it's pretty cool, honestly. Look at that. I wish we could build something like that ourselves. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the rats is what killed her, not the uh, guy over there that I just completely murdered. But you can build anywhere you want on this pond. If you want to build where this lady is, go for it. Or if you want to build over here where the views are, I definitely recommend this more because, you know, you don't want to get all the rats every time you wake up. But yeah, this is a beautiful location. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the strongest rifles in all of Fault 76. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is one of the highest hitting damage rifles in all of Fault 76.